Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Math School Learn to Succeed. On this channel, I teach videos related to class 10th and Math. In today's video, let us see introduction for a new exercise that is exercise 5.2 from chapter 5, areas related to circles. In my previous videos, I have completed exercise 5.1 and example problems. If you have not watched these videos, you can find the link in the description box below. Also, I have completed videos related to other important chapters such as arithmetic progression, triangles, pair of linear equations, quadratic equation, coordinate geometry, real numbers, trigonometry and chapter circles. Again, link for all this is provided in the description box below. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and also hit that bell button so that you will be notified with all the latest videos on my channel. Now quickly let us begin with the video. Section 5.3 Areas of Sector and Segment of a Circle from Chapter 5 Areas Related to Circle. So in this section we will be finding out how to determine areas of sector and segment in a circle. So let us consider a circle whose center is O and it has a radius R and the length of the circle or the circumference is denoted by A. So initially we have learned how to find out area of a circle that is we have a formula pi r square similarly the length of the circle or the circumference or the perimeter of a circle is denoted by 2 pi r. So now let us see what a sector and segment means. First let us consider sector of a circle. So consider a circle whose center is O and let us take two radii from this center O. These are the two radii drawn from the center to the circumference of the circle. Portion or part of the circular region enclosed by two radii is called as this sector. So this forms a sector. If you, So let us name this sector as OA. Let P be the arc of the sector. So OA PB is a sector which is enclosed by radius on two sides. Let us name this arc as Q. So we have two sectors formed here because of the, these two radius that is the major sector AQB. So this forms our major sector and OAPB forms our minor sector that is smaller compared to the major sector. Okay, so let us see the definition of uh, the sector of a circle which says the portion or part of a circular region enclosed by two radii and the corresponding arc is called the sector of a circle. Okay, so this is the sector of a circle. The shaded portion you see is called as the sector of a circle with center O. OAPB is the minor sector. OAQB forms the major sector in a circle. So these are the few important things that you should know before going to area of the sector. Now let us find out what is the area of this minor sector OAPB. So when you consider a whole circle, the angle formed by this complete circle is how much? 360 degree. Whereas here we will consider a sector OAPB which forms an angle theta. Okay, so this is the angle theta formed by this minor sector. So let us consider let OAPB be a sector of circle with center O and radius R and angle AOB will be equal to theta that is the angle formed by this sector. Right, so here we are going to find out two things in, the, in a sector. We will find the area of covered by this sector OAPB and also we will find out the length of this arc APB. First let us find out area of this sector. So basically we know the area of the whole circle is given by pi r square, right? So since we are taking a theta as an angle of the sector, so if this theta is equal to 360 degree, then a whole circle is formed, right? The whole circle will be coming into picture. So therefore the formula of to find out area of a sector of angle theta is equal to theta divided by 360 into we are multiplying with the area of the circle that is pi r square. So for example, if so for example in this formula, if we assume theta is equal to 360 degree, 
when does theta is equal to 360? When a whole circle comes into picture, the angle is equal to 360 degrees, right? So substituting here, we get 360 divided by 360 into pi r square. So 360, 360 will get cancelled and the area of that is pi r square. So this is how this formula is formed, keeping theta into mind. So similarly, when we take theta as equal to 90 degree, now applying the formula 90 divided by 360 into pi r square, right? So 0, 0 will get cancelled, 9, 1 times, 9, 4, 36, that is equal to pi r square divided by 4. That is when theta is equal to 90 degree, area of this quadrant has to be found out that whose area is nothing but pi r square divided by 4. So depending upon the theta value, so this is how we can find out area of a sector of an angle theta. So this formula you have to remember that is area of a sector of angle theta is equal to theta by 360 into pi r square. Now next thing which comes into picture is the length of the arc of the sector. Now, this is a sector that is OAPB forms the sector whose length of the arc is given by APB. Now, how do we find out this length? So, again, there is a formula to find out this length. The length of the whole triangle, that is the perimeter, is given by 2 pi r. Now, how we wrote the formula for area of the sector of an angle theta? Similarly, we will write the formula for a length of an arc of a sector of angle theta that is theta by 360 into 2 pi r. Since here we are finding the length of the r, we will multiply by the circumference. And here initially, since we are finding out area of sector, we will multiply with area of the circle formula. These two formulas are very much important, which you have to remember. Now let us see the segment of a circle. Now segment of a circle, again, let us consider a circle with center O. Now, now let us draw a chord and let us name it as A, B and the arc enclosed by this chord will be P. So this forms the, the portion or part of the circular region enclosed by a chord and a corresponding arc forms the segment of the circle. Okay, So this forms the segment of the circle which is enclosed by a chord AB and an arc AP. Again, here you can see that APB forms the minor segment and if we name this arc as Q, AQB forms the major segment. Okay, so let us see the definition of the segment of a circle which says the portion or part of the circular region enclosed between a chord and the corresponding arc is called the segment of a circle. Again, here. APB is the minor segment and AQB forms the major segment. Now let us see area of a segment. So in this segment of a circle, we will determine only the area of this segment and here the length of the arc does not come in. So let us see area of a segment. So for that, let us consider a circle with center O and again to find out the area of a segment, we will consider a sector. We know that a sector is formed by two by two radii, right? So let us consider the sector OA it will be the arc OAPB, and then we will draw a chord joining A and B, which forms a segment. So basically, we have to find out here area of this segment APB. But we will be using the area of the sector OAPB as well to find out this area of the segment APB. Okay, so let us write down. Let APB be the segment of a circle with center O and R is the radius. So here you can see that in this sector OAPB, we have a triangle is formed with angle theta here. So a triangle AOB is formed and then we also have a segment APB, right? So to find out area of this sector, we will take area of the sector OAPB and then we will minus area of this triangle OAB to give the area of this segment APB, okay? It is very much simple. First, we have to find out area of this 
sector OAPB. Then we have to find out area of this triangle OAB and then we have to subtract to find out the area of this segment AB. So area of the segment APB is given by area of the sector OAPB minus area of the triangle OAB. We already know area of the sector OAPB is given by theta divided by 360 into pi r square. So that we already know. So we have substituted that formula here minus area of the triangle OAB. Right? So this is how we are going to find out area of this segment AB. So previously when you consider a circle we found out area of a minor sector OA, PB and we also found out area of the minor segment APB right but if you want to find out area of the major sector and area of the major segment in these two cases what we have to do. So for that what are we going to do is we are going to take area of this whole circle that is pi r square and we are going to subtract the area of the whole circle with the area of the minor sector OAPB to get area of the major sector. Similarly to find out area of the major segment we are going to take area of the whole circle and then subtract with the area of the minor segment to obtain area of the major sector AQ. So these are the formulas also to find out the area of the major sector and area of the major segment. So you have to remember the formulas for area of the segment, area of the sector, length of the sector and area of the major sector and major segment to solve the problems from exercise 5.2. So if you have any further doubts you can comment me below in the comment section. In my next video I will be solving example 3 and 4 related to this exercise 5.2 and also please watch the related videos of chapter 5 areas related to circles shown on the screen and if you like my video don't forget to like share and subscribe so that I can make more such videos for you guys.